Pizzica! <laughs> Shotgun chambers. And for this we need a ruler. We need a emptied out, shot out, shotgun shell folded back into its original size. A spent shell, what it looks like after it's shot. A pen. A stirrer. A wooden stir, a couple of shotguns, of course, and this, which just got from Amazon, that I have not even unwrapped yet. It is the American National Fire Ferrier Gun Bore and Choke Gauge. Nice. I decided to just finally get one of these things and stop using a dime. I mean, I have to be accurate here. I need to be on the cutting edge of choke sizes. So we're gonna mess around with that. So let's see, first of all, when you see shotgun shells, two and three quarter inch, you know, you see the Shotguns all say that on the barrel, two and three quarter inch. It wasn't always like that. There's some older shotguns that were um, actually two and a half inch. And uh, you'd say, ah, oh, two and a half, two and three quarter, are close enough, right? Let's see, do I need some more light here? Would that help? Not really. So it is a serious issue. And, um, a couple of shotguns that I have that I had to check to make sure they weren't uh, two and a half inch. Well, for the first explanation would be, what is this two and a half inch? So these are two and three quarter inch shells, right? So if these are two, two and three quarter inch shells, why on earth is this two and a quarter inches? So you say, all right, well, Whatever, it's two and a quarter, so it's not going to bother it if the, the chamber is two and a half. It's not going to be an issue, right? Well, that's not what actually the two and three quarter means. The two and three quarter means that after shooting the shell, like the shell as a whole, before it's crimped, it's two and three quarter inches long. So a two and a half inch chamber would mean that it's two and a half inch, which would be right here. Two and a half inch. This this quarter inch right here. If the chamber was two and a half inches, the shell would not be able to fully unfold and allow the wad or the slug or whatever is coming out of there to exit. Um just to make this visible in a quick diagram it looks something like this if if the chamber looked like this and this is the two and a half inch chamber let's say okay and the shell goes in here. What it, what it do is there's like a forcing cone here and it necks down slightly. So I'm gonna show you like an exaggerated look to it, obviously, but. So this necks down over here and it's a very discernible edge. You could feel it. If you were able to get like, say your pinky in there, you'd feel that edge. And Obviously, the shotgun shell isn't going to slide in all the way up to here. It wouldn't have any place to expand at all. So let's say in the two and a half inch chamber, 
the shell would go in to a certain distance where when it unfolded open, it would unfold open exactly two and a half inches. So this would be right here. This distance right here would be two and a half inches. Now the problem is, if we put in a two and three quarter inch shell, so that would mean opened up, the shell would go, even it was, it was even about this far, it was even a little less than two and a half inches, remember? So say the shell would go in this far, this is the two and three quarter inch shell now, that when it unfolded, it's unfolding out into here. where this narrows and that could potentially be a problem whereas the the two and three quarter inch chamber let's say where that starts the necking down so this distance total here is two and three quarter inches so when it unfolds, it unfolds, just basically makes a smooth transition into the barrel. So pretty easy that this two and three quarter inch shell, well, it's pretty accurate right there. The two and three quarter inch shell, all you're gonna have to do is measure that, let's say, right? Okay, that's where this comes in. So now you have shotguns that are old. Let's take this guy, for instance. This guy right here. This guy right here is right around... I can't even put it on the table. I got back up. This guy right here is right around the turn of the century. And uh, it was difficult to... Um, it's difficult to tell if this really was compatible with two and three quarter inch shells. Was this two and three quarter or two and a half? You know, the shotguns, they they usually say it on it, right? Well, let's take a look. What does this guy say on it? Let's go a little closer. So when you get these older guys, it says Winchester 1897. Oh, it sure does. Full choke, 12 gauge. That's about it. We don't got nothing else. I think this is 1899, maybe 1900. I don't, I don't, I don't really remember. So let's uh, measure the chamber. It's pretty easy, actually, especially with this being a takedown. With the takedown on these, we swap this over to this side, pull it forward. That disengages the magazine tube. Pull the slide all the way forward. Clear of the. Uh, is it clear? It's clear. And we take it apart. Now, we reach in here. Okay? If you put it in there, you'll be able to feel be able to feel exactly where that transition is. You find it with the stick and you go. Right exactly there. And we hold it down. And we draw a line right on the edge of the barrel. Right there. So that's what we got. That's the distance that we got. Now, you measure everything but the rim. You don't want to measure the rim of the shell. So you come on top. Right there, as you can see, you go up against the rim. So you're not measuring the rim. It doesn't have to be that exacting because if it isn't two and a half, 
you know, it's going to be two and three quarter. It's not going to be off by, you know, a millimeter. It's uh, obviously two and three quarter inch chamber. And then uh, you can hold on to this with the mark on it like that. And you could use it for different shotguns. See, there's a, I got another 1897 right here. And this one isn't a takedown. I'm not even sure if uh, I necessarily need to take it down. Let's just uh, take our stick. And we could just feel, yep. We could look right in there. And I could see that right on that ridge, right where the chamber, you feel the ridge on the chamber. And as you can see in there, it's lining right up with the barrel. See that? Right there is where that ridge is. So, now we know that they're both two and three quarter inch chambers. And uh, let's try chokes now. So the, I guess I don't have to necessarily, uh, I guess I don't necessarily have to put this back together. It's a little more manageable since this is a 30 inch barrel. It's a little more manageable on the table with just the barrel. So of course here we have, uh, what does it say? Let's see what it says first, right? It says full, 12 gauge full choke. Now with a tool like this, obviously this does uh, 20, 28, 10, uh, 410, sorry, 16, 12, doesn't do 10 gauge. So pass by the 16 gauge here and right away we can tell it's not even going into anything on the 12 gauge. It's stopping, but it will resistance fit snugly right into the one that it is. So this fit right into full choke, nice and snug. Now let's check the other guy. And the other guy's a little weird because the other guy says the same thing. It says full 12 gauge, but it's a bit cut down, right? It's a bit shorter. Um, it doesn't look like that's stock. So let's see, is this one a full choke? Go pass in full. Improved modified, modified, improved cylinder. Here's cylinder bore. Nice and snug right in there. Whoops, <laughs> it'll disappear in there with that one. So that's what it is, cylinder. And uh, this is aluminum, by the way, for those that think it might do some scratching. I mean, it might very well, it, it, I guess it could. You do have to be careful. I certainly didn't mean to for it to go all the way in there like that but uh that's how we know this guy is cut down and this is uh, this is absolutely cylinder choke and uh that's how we measure chokes and uh from now on when we mess around with these shotguns we're going to be able to just uh we're going to be able to just check them right out and we could use our stick right here for uh Two and three quarter inch chamber. We could write on here. Two, three and quarter. Chamber gauge. And that is what this is gonna be from now on. And we can even make uh, that a little darker and we'll put this in our, uh, in our little tool gun tools and that's a wrap stay tuned because tomorrow is going to be the grand premiere of our uh, newest featured uh, gun and just as a preview, if you guys can tell what rifle this is that I'm chambering. I don't know how the hell anybody would know that, but that was a crazy idea. 
You all take care, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, yeah, <laughs>